Welcome back, guys and gals, to the Road to Persona 5. My name is Aaron Knight, and today, well, as you guys see, we're going to be talking about a different game. A different type of gameplay that came out last year, and a lot of people craved it for it. Pretty much the game's already one year old now. So, as you guys can tell, we're going to be talking about Fallout 4. So, ladies and gentlemen, Fallout 4. That game, huh, that's pretty fun. But is it really worth to the wait to the Persona 5? I want to let you guys know. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. So first things first, the story of the game. Eh, Fallout 4's story is, it's a little bit mediocre at best. Pretty much the game is, you you pretty much are Vault Dweller. You know the usual Fallout stuff. You're a Vault Dweller, but this time you actually come before the Great War, so... You actually see the pretty much the time before the, all the nukes fell down. But, after that, you go over there and get to save your son. Mm -hmm. You gotta go save your one-year-old infant son. Pretty much still an infant, so, yeah. Pretty much when you get out, pretty much, yeah, you can go and explore and everything, or you guys continue with the story. Pretty much a game plays as you want to play it, so... But the game is, uh... The story, you can... The story's not that good. Well, in my opinion, at least. The story's not... It's not as good as Fallout 3's, at least. That's that's all I'm saying. Because, well... You got... Like, yes, you got multiple story endings, but... They kinda... They feel the same still, no matter what you choose. And now, the gameplay. Guys and gals, if you guys like shooting stuff, this game's gonna be great for you. But if you guys like milling stuff, there's also games to write for you. So, the shooting and everything in the gameplay, it feels really casual. Um, comparing it to last year's games, like, you know, Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3, those were felt actually really competitive. Like, you know, really hard to, ch to choose, basically. But in this one, it feels really... Really like casual. Be like you could shoot anything, you wouldn't be able to need vats. Now, yes, a lot of people like using vats, but right I'm there in the game, one you one hardly one ever one need one to use it. So yeah. But if you guys also it's like the gameplay, but you can also choose a little bit of uh, like you know dialogue options at least. Which again, it's pretty part of the gameplay. Yes, it's part of a little bit of the story, but at the same time, you're the one choosing it, so it's also gameplay. So yeah. Either way, the game's it's a hit or miss if you guys like shooter, shooting or milling stuff or not, so yeah. So, pretty much the music and everything about the environment. The game is pretty fun actually. Pretty much, well, if you guys like, like old 1940s, 1950s songs, then the game's pretty much right there in there for you. But if you go to a creepy atmosphere or anything like with the music off, the game actually feels a little, a little bit scary. It really does because the atmosphere, there's no music in the background. Oh yeah, pretty much it's a really good stuff, son. So yeah, if you guys like old 1940s, 1950s music, or pretty much you guys like Fallout, the Fallout 3 soundtrack, well there you go, you got a, a little bit of an updated Fallout 4, pretty much Fallout 3 in a nutshell. Except the storyline, the storyline's not very good at all. God no. But either way, the music is so pretty good with its environment blending and all, and everything. So, if you guys like the that for the game, pretty much, uh, I kind of highly recommend it. If you guys like pretty much that kind of music and kind of environment stuff, so yeah. So yeah, if you guys pretty much waiting until Persona 5, then yeah, pretty much you guys can play Fallout 4 in the meantime because well, the game actually got mod support now on consoles and it's been on PC for a while, but. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Aaron Knight. If you guys found this helpful, uh, hit the like button. It really helps out. If you guys didn't find it helpful at all and just hate Fallout 4 in general, hit the dislike button and let me know. Also, share this with your friends. Tell them what, hey, we got something new here for a while, so I might as well wait for it, right? So until then, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Aaron Knight, and um, I'll catch you guys down the road. So, later.